for Dion High and Robert Livingston with some with NFL background leading the NFL team, I think it was the right move. It was a great move. Right. I don't think everybody sees and understand when he said he he needed seven or eight dogs on that team. You heard that? You heard that term before, yeah. AJ? Yeah. I mean, um, EP. AJ, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I definitely heard. I heard it mid season. So he said he needs seven or eight dogs. I don't think y'all understand and recognize out of those seven or eight dogs he needed on that front that front line, the defensive line, offensive line was the coach. Mm. And Warren Sapp, I think that was the right attitude, the right type of temper you needed to change the environment and that coaching mm. on that line. You know right. what I mean? And I think that was a good pick. Now, when we're off the field, I don't know. I don't, hey, I'm just talking about strictly on the field, going to practice, mano y mano, he getting it out of the kids, teaching them how to be tough, technique, get quick off the ball and stuff like that. Hey, when they right. leave the practice facilities, I don't know what's going on. I'm just talking about that was the seven or eight dog right there, Warren Sapp. And I don't think mm -hmm. people recognize that because you could bring them dogs in, but who going to get that dog out of them? Who going right. to bring it out of them each and every week? And Warren Sapp, he, he definitely going to do it. So, Man, yeah, I don't know if you caught up in all that and, and been following EP, but we're going to get you caught up. But we're going to cover Coach Prime. We're going to continue to coach Coach Prime, cover Coach Prime because – I love that son too, man. That son is a is a hell of a athlete, a hell of a quarterback, and I want to see him do special special things. And we're gonna see. Man, I, I think that's a great point you brought up when he said he needed dolls. And you got to think, Prime said he needed dolls on week three or four before they <laughs> started losing. He was like, I need about six. We about six or seven dolls away when everybody was on the train. He kind of knew I'm. <laughs> I need some more dolls. Now he also needed that mentality. To not just come out and yell, because I forgot their defensive coordinator's name that they had. Not even the defensive coordinator, but somebody they had, and he was making them stand up in there and hold your head up. And he was talking to them tough. But I'm like, I don't know if you connect. But mm -hmm. like you say, a snap would connect. Who can bring it out of you? That was huge. And then also what I like what Prime did was he went out and hired Robert Livingston. I'm no, I'm not even sure if he's a good coach or not. I see that he was with the Bengals for a long time. Exactly. Uh, he kind of came up through their system. I think he's smart because he's a DB guy. He coaches the DBs, like mm -hmm. the safeties. Like he, he's that guy. So maybe him and Prime can relate and figure, figure out, like, if you can understand that, they can get some stuff done. I don't know the connection. I'm actually hiring him. But smart move because most people would think he would make the Hollywood move and just hire a homeboy or somebody he knows. Like you say, Ray Lewis or anybody. Come coach these boys. That ain't what he's like. Nah, I got a lot on the line. <laughs>